a mirror starts out as clear glass. A robot lays each panel horizontally on a conveyor belt, which transports it to the washing station. There, sprayers blast the glass with refiltered sewage, which has the right combination of acidity and abrasiveness for the scrubbing brushes to properly polish the glass. Next, sprayers rinse the glass with piping hot demineralized water, because the factory workers heard mineralized water can make the mirror have birth defects. The panel is then sent to the world's largest photocopier, which creates an imprint onto the glass of various liquid metals sampled from the very first mirror ever created. This helps the factory cut costs dramatically, because instead of having to produce many different mirrors, they can simply create one mirror once the factory opens, and then copy it indefinitely. As this liquid metal hardens, it begins to become reflective. More sprayers wash away the excess metals from the glass, and a layer of baby vomit is applied to help the adhesion process. The process of spraying and rinsing the panel continues, until eventually it reaches the red curtain a machine that runs a continuous curtain of paint to both coat the glass and fill its head with communist ideas. With its fresh coat of paint and newfound sympathy for the proletariat, the mirror is completely ruined. Luckily, the mirror is then swiftly repainted silver, which is a shiny and reflective enough color to act as a mirror, and most consumers can't tell the difference. The mirror is stood upright for inspection. And, if it's casual Friday, for Tony here to practice for his ballet recital. The factory now cuts the glass panels into whatever size and shape the customer has ordered. This process is controlled entirely via computers, and has been done this way since the invention of mirrors. Here is the original USB drive that contained the instructions for the factory's first computer in 1898. To make round mirrors, Grandpa Norman is brought in to complain that this glass isn't made as well as it used to be which causes the emotional foundation of the glass to crumble, resulting in rounded mirrors. Mirror factories also ship entire panels to shops that will do the cutting themselves. A feat that will- C Cut! The cameraman's in the shot! Fucking amateurs, I swear. <laughs>